all day, every day, whether it's rehearsals or your performances, you're in the dressing rooms together. So of course, there's definitely a lot of bonding. And to this day, I'm still really, really great friends, like family, with most of the people that I did all those shows with. Yeah, absolutely. You, the aunt, <laughs> you know, who's the you know, all the a lot of that bonding. Mm-hmm. For sure, you know, we've had to move scenery as part of, you know, the scene, so it doesn't look like the crew members, you know, are coming on to move it, you know, in all black. So they would have us do it as a transition. So yeah, we've had to, you know, in fame. Oh, nails are doing like no. I'm just gonna keep her on my lap. Mommy's baby. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh, you know. <laughs> And you and your mother look like twins. Oh my goodness. I mean, yes, you're twinsies. <laughs> you know, professionalism to really just in a snap get right into it. So, yeah. uh, are you working behind the scenes, to, you know, or is this something that you just through training, you can just do like that, you know, when you're in the dancing? I've, you know, I've been a dancer all my life. So that I can do like that. I'm not doing that much dancing these days. Um, the last dance stuff that I did as a, you know, work as a dancer um, was right before the pandemic. It was the, the movie musical, The Prom, which was directed by Ryan Murphy. That was a lot of fun to work on. It was right before the pandemic. And then I did three episodes of um, Penny Dreadful, and which was like a period yeah. piece with like the pachucos and all that kind of stuff and salsa mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But these were, that was all before the pandemic. So as soon as the... Um, pandemic happened um you know everything kind of slowed down and now I'm just you know I've just been working again as an actor um and then as a producer behind the scenes um I'm working with a production company called Rocket Fuel Entertainment and we are so there's a new lesson to be learned um but yeah so and, and there's a couple feature films but again we're like you know how it is with feature films and independent films you're waiting, we're waiting for money and, you know, you know actors have this, you know, they constantly keep busy, um, especially, you know, I, and I love the fact that you have, you're, do, you're, you're going to be doing an animation series, which that just takes me back to the, you know, the after school special days, you know, I'm, we need to, and I'm glad you're bringing that back. <laughs> you can find all our teaser, our trailers on social media, you know, Instagram and everything. Um, under Rocket Fuel Entertainment or Kids Crew, that's the name of it. So, you know, we're, we're, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's one, it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. You know, like, I'm not as uh, attached to the industry as I once was. I'm still hungry, but other priorities in life have sort of taken place, you know, whether it's family or um, myself. And you kind of just like give it up to God. Okay, when it's supposed to happen, it'll happen. I'm still auditioning. It's just like, it's a, it's a lot of throwing spaghetti at the wall right now for me. And it's okay. That's it's sort of how I've always lived my life anyway. You know, I'm, I'm one day I'm a dancer, the next day I'm producing, next day I'm acting. Um, and then I sort of just go with the phone. Then I need to go. One category, and I've always been a jack of all trades, so to speak. Um, mm. I, you know, with 22 years, I attempted to, you know, I did. I wrote, you know, I was a co writer. It was my story, my idea, all of that, but it's not for me. You know, I don't wake up every morning saying, I need to write. So I don't need to do everything. I can say, okay, this is what I want to do. This is where I feel comfortable. I don't need to write, direct, produce. I don't need, my ego is not that big. So if I don't feel it in me, I'm not going to do it. I'll give it a try and see, okay, does this work for me? No, it doesn't. I don't feel passionate about it. I don't want to wake up and write every day. That's a whole different category. And I think we have a different purpose in life. You know, maybe, you know, at this point in time, somebody is meant to be a wife. Somebody is meant to, the next time, five years, somebody is meant to be a mother. We have different purposes. And I've been on the go my whole life. And sometimes I just want to take a break and just live. If an audition comes, great. If it doesn't, I'm going to hang out with my mom and the dog and let's go get something to eat and be just 
n- I'm not saying a normal human being, but you know, maybe today I'm just going to meditate and take a walk. And I think that that's needed sometimes. I'm not, I'm, that's what I was saying earlier. I'm not so, not that I'm not hungry. You know, there's a, a project, a sci-fi project. We did a teaser for it probably five years ago called Project Abaddon. And just now, you know, that creator, Peter Borgini, he's been working on this project for years and he finally is getting it off the ground. And supposedly I'm still part of it. So I don't believe anything until there's a check in my account and there's a contract, but supposedly I'm still a part of it. Okay, if that's meant to be for me in the next couple of months, I go with it. I've already done, I've done so much work already that sometimes you just need to let it go and let, you know, whatever's meant to come to you, come to you or just sort of live a normal life. Like I, sometimes I didn't have time to go to the beach. So now I make it time. Like, you know what? I need a dawn day. I'm going to go to the beach, you know, or I'm going to hang out with my friends today because you need real life experiences. Not that I never had real life experiences, of course, to pull from, to be creative. Does that make sense? Do you know, like I've always Absolutely. going, going, going. This Sometimes I'm just tired. And the older I get, I'm just like, I just need to enjoy life a little bit more. You know, what the work will come and I'm not starving. I'm okay. So there's a lot of things out there in the universe and there's a lot of things I've already met, you know, have been manifesting and putting out there and let's see what's supposed to happen, basically. That makes sense. Absolutely. That's a beautiful way to you know, to to put it together, to put it all together. You know, um, Human beings as a whole. My peace of mind mean more to me than chasing after an audition, if that makes sense. If I, you know, if I can do it, I can do it. Absolutely. You know, if I need a person that's a friend of mine now ended up getting it instead of me. I was ready to go. I had my suitcases. Mm -hmm. And then at the last minute, they told me, no, we're hiring someone else. I was like. Okay, so I went back home on the A train in New York with my suitcases. I walk in, my roommate's like, what are you doing here? I was like, she took somebody else at the last minute. Come to find out, because my friend ended up doing it, which we weren't friends at the time. They shaved her head. Oh, my God, I would have gone crazy if you had to shave my hair. I ended up getting Lion King instead. And Lion King has been my favorite show to do. We have, I have such a connection with Lion King. Um, and I ended, and that ended up being a career game changer for me. It ended up being a job on and off for years and years and years. And I met the most amazing people. And I had such a, a way stronger connection with Lion King than touring with Madonna, even though it sounds amazing to tour the world with Madonna, which it was, but artistically, I had more of a connection with Lion King. Only female. And I was scared shitless. I hadn't done that many stunts. And there was um, a thing where I had to go fly upside down, you know, my head here, my body here, because she goes through this like portal through the hole in space. And we would start it out. And I was, I probably rehearsed for like three weeks for something that filmed for 30 seconds. And they would do it by weight. They would do it by time. It just takes a lot of time and, and, and you have to be super careful because somebody's life is on the line. So they would do it for 10 seconds and it, it had to have been like 50 feet, 10 seconds. Went to them here and there just by word of mouth or, you know, oh, she has the right look. Oh, she can double this person or she knows how to do wire work because I did wires um, with Madonna and in Lion King. So it just sort of happened, but I'm not really in that world, so to speak. Um, little things have like sprinkled and dropped in my lap, but I was, a, you know, they don't know that I was scared out of my ass, but I was. And I got through it and that was that. Yeah. But it was fun. I was the only female. It was all these men, just the male crew. Yeah. And I had to act like I knew what I was doing. And I was just, you know, just watch and learn, look and learn, act like you know what you're doing. Great to know, you know, if you're agent and manager, if you don't take it or you don't audition, 
they're going to be mad because then they're going to lose out on money. You know what I mean? So you kind of have to do it. So, so, you know, they see your work ethic. They're like, oh, you know, like, who knows? But yeah, sometimes it does work out like that. Yeah. It's a blessing when it does. Yeah. Start, stop, you know, uh, sorry, mom, can you turn that water off? Thank you. Sit, yeah, have cut. Action, cut. You get to do the same scene. If you mess up, you get to do it all over again. If you're on stage, you go from beginning to end. If you mess up, you have to keep going. So it's a completely different work ethic. You're on stage for two and a half hours. There's no cut. There's no stop. You have mm. eight shows a week. With filming, you may have, you know, maybe you're only filming two days a week and you're filming for 12 hours in one day. So it's, it's, it's a little mm. different um, discipline. But discipline, nonetheless, I think if you have one, I think it can carry over into the other, if that makes sense. If you have discipline, you have discipline. If you have work ethic, you have work ethic. You know, I don't know if I want a set schedule or I want to be committed to teaching for a whole year, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, from three to five. You know, I, I want to do other things where I don't want to be so committed at that point. Um and I've taught for a really long time. And if I was going to teach, you know, I would rather teach acting, acting than dance. And I have my degree in dance, you know, especially in L.A. I don't, not that I don't, my belief is that I don't even know if they appreciate what I have to offer. You know, my training is very artsy fartsy. And ever since, you know, So You Think You Can Dance came out, it's more about tricks and and quantity of things than quality of things. And it's a, it's a very tough subject for me to sort of talk about, I'm very sensitive about it. Um, you know, the, the, since technology has evolved, modern dance, which was my passion, sort of, you know, there's barely any modern dance companies anymore, like, so to speak, Alvin Ailey, because that's probably something people would recognize the name, but there's so many modern dance companies, but it's this, it feels like it's sort of a dying art. People don't even go to the theater to watch dance anymore. They can watch it on TV, watch it on their phone. Hopefully it makes a comeback, but I don't know if people really want that sort of thing. Maybe they'll come back around when they realize, you know, the quantity is not working anymore is the quality of movement. But yeah, I'm okay with not teaching at this point in my life. I'll do privates. I teach, you know, I teach a little girl. I teach some little private acting classes and stuff like that. And I have a lot to offer, but, um, hard dancers work but it's just not where I came from I never came from any art being a competition dance was never a competition for me but for a lot of kids or friends that I grew up with or dancers that it was and uh it just wasn't for me so it's really hard for me to watch stuff like that around if you want, want, want to chat so thank you so much